In this video, we'll take a look at how you can securely erase your hard drive with a free tool called DBAN. If you're looking at selling your computer or just want to safely delete all the data off the hard drive, then this is a great tool to use. First, open up a web browser and do a search for DBAN. You can see it loads DBAN under the first link for data removal and DBAN standing for Direct Boot and Nuke. Let's click into this. Now DBAN is intended for personal use only, so when ready, go to the top right hand corner and click on download DBAN. This will redirect you to the SourceForge site where the download will start automatically. There we go, the download started and shouldn't take long as it's only a 16 meg file. So once the download is complete, I'll minimize the browser. Then I'll go and open my downloads folder. Now as you can see it's an ISO file that's been downloaded and you'll need a USB attached to your computer so you can make a bootable USB from the ISO file. If we have a look you can see it's a 16 gig USB that's attached which is more than enough for what we need. So in order to make a bootable USB we'll need to download another tool for this. Let's minimize this window and open up a web browser again and this time we'll do a search for Rufus Rufus is a small application that creates bootable USB drives and it's free click into the first link here for Rufus the official website once the page is loaded just scroll down the page here you'll see some download options and I'll click on this link here for Rufus 313 which at the time of recording this video is the latest version. This will go off and start the download. When that's finished, I'll minimize the browser. And let's go to my downloads folder. So here's the Rufus application. Let's double click on it to open the executable file. So here's the application and you can see it's very easy to use. Under the devices, you can see that it's already detected that I have a 16 gig USB attached to the computer. Now make sure the USB you use for this has no data on it as the USB will be formatted during this process. You should back up any data that you have on the USB first. Under boot selection, we need to select an ISO, so go to the select option. This will open our download folder where we can select our DBAN ISO. Now that we have our USB and DBAN ISO selected, we can go ahead and start the process to create the bootable USB. You'll get a warning telling you that all the data on the USB device selected will be deleted, so make sure you have any data currently on the USB backed up or copied to an alternative location. Once that's done, select OK. That will start the process. The USB will now be formatted and Rufus will create a bootable USB from the DBAN ISO we selected. Once that's completed, we'll close this window and go to My Computer. You can see the new DBAN label on the USB straight away. And if you click into the USB, you'll see the files that make up the bootable DBAN USB. Now we're ready to boot into this USB, so let's go ahead and restart the computer. Now when you restart your computer, you want to get into the boot menu. And you can normally do this by pressing the escape or one of the F1 to F12 keys. Computer vendors like HP, Dell and IBM tend to use different keys for this. But some of the common boot menu keys to access the boot menu that I've seen are F1, F2, F10 and escape. Once in the boot menu, you want to select the bootable USB device that you have attached to your computer. So I'll go ahead and select removable devices. And as you can see, this loads the DBAN application. And it gives you a warning at the top of the application saying that this software will destroy any data on the drive. So make sure you have any data you still need backed up before you run this program on the drive you're about to wipe. Further down the menu, you can see that you have a few menu options. F2 will give you details about the DBAN application. F3 will give you a list of quick commands that can be run. F4 just gives you the details for the RAID disclaimer and the enter key will start the DBAN in interactive mode. This is the option we want, so let's select this. 
This will then go off and detect the disks and any other devices that you have attached to your computer. Once that's done, it will show you what was detected and you can see that it's detected two disks. The first disk is the USB which has the DBAN application on. And the second disk that's shown is the disk I have my operating system on. It's only a 20 gig disk which is a virtual machine disk and it's only that size for demonstration purposes and is the disk we'll be wiping. Now that it's picked up the disk which we can wipe, we need to select the wiping method to use. You'll see at the bottom, there's a number of options and I'm going to select M so we can see which methods we have available. Now selecting a method depends on a couple of things. You can see six methods that all vary. The first method is the quick erase method and this fills the disk with zeros and it will only run one time. You can see that it shows the details here for this and shows the security level as low. This definitely isn't the best of the six methods, but if you're looking for a quick wiping method, this is definitely a handy option. The RCMP or Royal Canadian Mounted Police method uses a pattern that is one random byte that is changed with each round and has a medium security level and will run eight passes, which is eight times. DOD Short uses wiping methods as defined by the Department of Defense specifications. This method has a medium security rating and runs three passes using this method and should be sufficient for just about most scenarios. If you don't select the method, then this is the default method that will be used. DOD 5220 standard wipe has a medium security rating and will run seven passes during the wiping process. The Gutman method is one that uses a large number of passes onto the region to be erased. More specifically, it applies 27 random order passes and eight passes using random data. For this reason, this choice may take more time compared to the others, but it is generally considered very safe. PRNG is a method that utilizes a pseudo random number generator to overwrite the erase region with seemingly random characters. This method has a medium security level with four rounds and a high security level with eight rounds. Normally if you stick to the three or seven way wipe, it offers a good balance between security and speed. The more passes you do, the longer it will take to wipe the disk, so carefully choose which wiping method you want to use. For this demo, I'll use the DOD short method so you can see the process. And I'll press the space bar to select this. Once that's selected, I'll need to select the correct disk to wipe, which I know is my second disk. So I'll go down to this and hit the space bar to select the disk. This will now show the wipe option next to the disk. Now we're ready to wipe the disk, so I'll go ahead and press F10 to start the process. Okay, that's started the process, and you can see the details for the job here where it tells you how far it is through the first pass out of three, and also the write speed. You can also see the options area, which has the method and other details set for the disk wipe. And on the far right hand side, you can see the statistics for the job where it will show you the runtime, along with an estimated time remaining figure and any errors that it comes across during the wiping process. So I'll speed this up until the job completes. Okay, you can see the job was completed and the disc has been wiped successfully. The job took 20 minutes, but this could take you longer as I was only using a 20 gig disc for the process. And if I reboot the computer, you can see that it can't find the operating system as the disk has now been successfully wiped. So I hope you found this video useful, and if it helped you out, then let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe for more tutorials.